All right, friends, it is daiquiri time, but not just any daiquiri. This is a watermelon mint daiquiri by the pitcher for a crowd. So go gather your ingredients and come back and make it with me. Hello friends, I'm Erin, the founder and chief sommelier here at The Wine Sisters. Welcome to our YouTube channel. This is the place where every week we show you how to eat, drink, and entertain like a pro. And today I am coming to you from Nicaragua. Yes, friends, the Wine Sisters, we're on location, we're on vacation. We are inside our rental house in the kitchen. You might remember last week's video, we did this outside and the wind was a little bit breezy. So to make things dignified, we come inside. It's a warm one. We are gonna be having watermelon mint daiquiris by the pool as soon as I'm done this video. And I'm gonna show you how. I like to make them by the pitcher because you know what I like to say, measure once, drink all day. So go gather your ingredients and I'll show you what you're going to need. Obviously, you're gonna need watermelon. Clearly, you're going to need white rum, local if possible, mint, that's integral to a watermelon mint daiquiri. And of course, you're gonna need a little bit of lime to give it some acidic lift and a little bit of tang and of course simple syrup as well that's just a simple mixture of white sugar melted into an equal amount of water okay so first things first what you want to do is you want to take a good handful of mint i love the smell of mint and i'm going to put it into my pitcher and i'm going to get it macerating with our rum right away so I've included the recipe below. That will be for six portions. I've got a, I'm gonna make a slightly bigger one here. You'll see that this is a really friendly recipe. You can decrease or increase depending on the amount of gas you have and how much you want to make. So I'm gonna make a daiquiri for about eight or nine people. So I'm going to use, oh, this is slippery. We were, just, we were storing our white rum in the freezer and uh, it's a little bit slippery now that it's come out. So hang on, I'm gonna do three cups of white rum. Okay, so what we've got is we've got, maybe you can take a look at the Sienna, zooming on that. We've got our fresh mint that's going to be sitting there macerating really nicely into three cups of white rum. I'm just going to put that off to the side while I prep my other ingredients. I'm going to, of course, you can't have a watermelon mint daiquiri without the watermelon. So I'm going to cube this and I'm going to put it into a blender and puree it down. Now, what you want to do is you want to cube up your watermelon, de-seed it, and you'll probably for this recipe want somewhere between six or seven cups. All right, so now we've cubed up our watermelon, de-seeded our well of watermelon. Like I said, I'm making about eight or nine drinks, and so I'm using about seven cups of cubed watermelon that I'm now gonna puree down. So we've got our watermelon puree, and I'm just going to pour it. This is a little bit of a leaky blender, but hey, it's Nicaragua. I'm going to pour it through a sieve and just strain it out, so. So now what I want to do is I want to juice up some lemon, or some limes rather. And here's a tip for you. If you find that your limes are a little bit hard, they're a little bit stiff, just boil them for a minute or so and they'll soften up and the juice will really start to flow. Get some of that. Oh, look how that worked. That really worked, that boil method. Okay, so everything is prepped. We've got our pureed watermelon. We have now a good half cup, maybe even a cup of freshly squeezed lime juice. I've got my mint all macerating within my rum, and now it's time to actually build this drink. So into my pitcher, we've been having this white rum macerating with the mint for, I don't know, a good 15 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. What we're going to do now into this is we're going to pour an equal measure of watermelon juice. Here in Nicaragua, the watermelons are super sweet, deep red, really delicious. So I don't wanna have a thing go to waste. So I'm gonna do equal measures, rum and watermelon juice. And in this case, that's three cups each. Again, there's a full recipe down below for you guys if you want. I did also make a little bit of extra watermelon juice because the young people in our family really like to have this drink but without alcohol. So if you have people who aren't drinking alcohol in your life, this is a brilliant drink without the rum as well. Just make it the same way, just exclude the rum. Okay, so we've got three cups of rum, three cups of watermelon juice. I'm going to use a good cup of freshly squeezed lime juice. You really want to give it a nice boost, a nice tang, and that's about one cup right there. 
And I'm going to use, I don't need a ton of sugar because as I said, these watermelons are super, super sweet here. So I'm only gonna use about maybe half a cup, three quarters of a cup. The thing that's nice about cocktails or any recipe in general is that you can really tweak them to your taste. So if you want to boost the tang, add a little bit more lime. If you're somebody who skews to the sweeter side, you can add a little bit more sugar. But start with this and then play around according to your taste. I think it's quite delicious and everyone that we've been serving it to agrees. So I think you're gonna really find some great success with these portions. Let that all come together and I'm gonna show you how we're going to build it. I haven't got any water, or excuse me, I haven't got any ice cubes in the pitcher itself because I don't want it to dilute too much. So into, I'm gonna use this fancy dancy wine glass. I'm gonna use the fancy dancy wine glass because we mostly don't have anything else here in <laughs> Nicaragua. I'm gonna add in a little bit of mint just to give it an extra boost of mint. And if you watch our Instagram at all, where I built the um, <laughs> gin and tonic from Spain, you know that we also don't have a muddler, so I'm using this uh, icing spreader. I'm just gonna give this a nice little crush up, just to release some of those aromatics in the actual glass itself. I'm gonna pour in just the tiniest bit, like just like a thimble full of, there, that's it, of the watermelon juice. Now I'm going to fill it with ice. strainer on, top it up, and now we have a beautiful watermelon mint daiquiri. And it's delicious, it's refreshing, it's cool, it's crisp, it's everything you want for a glorious hot summer day. I hope you guys really enjoy this. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. And while you're there, maybe you wanna give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel so that way you get alerted to when we drop a new video, which is every single week. And friends, if you have somebody who you think would really love to get their hands on this recipe, please feel free to send them this video. We want all the people to come and join us over here on the Wine Sisters channel. I'll be back next week with another delicious treat from Nicaragua. And until then, stay well, drink better.